I am Kevo Maesaro, Department of Physics. Today my topic is SIM4 Paper 4 Unit 3 Alternative Current that means AC. So explain the LCR series circuit. So this is the inductor. Inductor indicates the L. So next capacitor. Capacitor indicates the C. Two plates are equal. Next resistance. Resistance indicates the this type of so this is the resistance so and this is the ac power supply epsilon equal to epsilon naught sin omega t epsilon means potential epsilon naught means peak potential so sin omega means angular frequency t means time so an inductor of self inductance inductor of self inductance l capacitance c and resistance r Connected series. So this is the series connecting in a series L C R series and an AC power supply epsilon equal to epsilon naught sin omega t. So according to Faraday's law, so according to this is the Faraday's law. So epsilon equal to minus L di by dt. So epsilon means voltage, L means self inductance, di means current, dt means time so kappa next c c means capacitor capacitor c equal to q by v the ratio between charge and potential is called capacitor so c equal to q by epsilon v means potential epsilon means potential so both are same v plus d now epsilon epsilon equal to q by c next resistance r v equal to ir that is the ohms law so V means potential. Potential replace the epsilon. Epsilon equal to IR. According to Ohm's law, V equal to IR. V means potential. Potential means epsilon. Epsilon equal to IR. So potential epsilon minus L into DI by DT. So inductor potential, inductor potential and capacitor potential capacitors potential epsilon equal to q by c that means q by c equal to ir means ir so potential epsilon means epsilon inductor potential capacitor potential equal to resistance potential so equal to ir next Next, the above equation, the above equation d by dt multiplied both sides, both sides. the above equation multiplication both sides so that means l into di by dt plus ir plus q by c equal to epsilon so this equation changes so epsilon minus l into di by dt left side in a plus l into di by dt plus ri plus q by c q by c so the above equation multiplied in both side in d by dt so d by dt means l into d square i by dt square plus di by dt into r plus dq by dt into 1 by c so epsilon means so epsilon means epsilon naught d by dt into epsilon d by dt into epsilon epsilon means epsilon naught sin omega t epsilon naught sin omega t so l into 
d square i by dt square this is the second order so first order r into d i by dt plus 1 by c q by t means q by t means therefore q by t equal to i so i means current current is the ratio between the charge and time so this is the i equal d by dt derivative of the epsilon naught sin omega t epsilon naught constant so sin means cos omega t omega derivative means omega so this is the next one i equal according to so generally i equal i not sin omega t minus phi or i equal to i not cos omega t minus phi minus phi so i means current i not means peak current sin omega means angular frequency t means time time of phi means phase so di by dt above equation derivative di by dt means i not cos omega t minus phi so omega t derivative also omega so double derivative di by dt square equal di by dt square equal i not cos means minus sin minus sin omega t minus phi so omega t derivative means outside of the omega so omega into omega omega square and this is the equation number 2 so you will substitute it in a above equation next next l into d square i by dt square means minus l into minus l into d square i by dt square means i not omega square i not omega square sin omega t minus phi Next plus plus R into d i by d t means i not omega i not omega cos cos omega t minus phi. Next plus i by c. One by c into i means i not sin i not sin omega t minus phi. So omega t minus phi equal equal epsilon naught omega cos omega t minus phi. Plus phi. So mathematically, adding this plus phi and minus phi. So minus phi plus phi cancel. Remaining equation cos omega t. So next one minus l i not omega square sin omega t minus phi plus r i not omega. cos omega t minus phi plus i not by c sin omega t minus phi equal 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 
cos a plus b so this is also a this is b so formula of cos a plus b so cos a plus b that means epsilon naught omega cos a cos b so sin a sin b sin a means omega t minus phi into sin b means phi minus cos a means into cos b means phi so both side both sides compare the comparing the sin omega t minus phi and cos omega t minus phi so above equation compare the both side of sin omega t minus phi and cos omega t minus phi so first of all compare the sin omega t minus phi so that means sin omega t minus phi that means minus l i not omega square this term is cos sin term sin omega t minus phi plus i not by c equal equal to this is the sin omega t minus phi means epsilon naught omega into sin phi into sin phi this is the equation number 3 so this is the equation number 3 next cos terms so compare the cos omega t minus phi so cos terms so this is the cos r i not omega r i not omega equal epsilon not into omega epsilon not into omega cos phi minus cos phi so this is the equation minus cos phi and so plus cos phi so sin a plus b so this is the cos phi this is the equation number 4 so 3 by from 4 by 3 4 by 3 so epsilon not omega sin phi by epsilon not omega cos phi epsilon not omega epsilon not omega cancel so sin by cos means tan tan phi equal tan phi equal so minus l i not omega square plus i not by c whole by r i not omega next one next one tan phi equal tan phi equal so common term in i not omega i not omega so i not omega means i not omega means l omega minus l omega minus l omega plus 1 by c omega 1 by c omega so i not into omega into 1 by c omega 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 cancel 
सो ई नाट बै सी ई नाट बै सी सो ई नाट इंटू उमेगा इंटू वन बै सी उमेगा 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 कैंसल सो ई नाट बै सी रेमैनिंग बै आर ई नाट उमेगा सो आर ई नाट उमेगा सो टैन फैक्वल ई नाट उमेगा ई नाट उमेगा कैंसल रेमैनिंग ईक्वेशन वन बै सी उमेगा मैनस एल उमेगा बै आर सो फैक्वल टैन एन वर्स टैन एन वर्स वन बै सी उमेगा मैनस एल उमेगा बै आर सो दिस द फेज सो दिसक्वेशन इज द फेस नोट दट ईडेंटिफाई दिसक्वेशन सो दट मीन फैक्वल टैन एन वर्स वन बै सी उमेगा मैनस एल उमेगा बै आर ओके नैक्स्ट नैक्स्ट ईक्वेशन नंबर ईक्वेश नंबर थ्री स्क्वे प्लस ईक्वेश नंबर थ्री स्क्वे प्लस फोर स्क्वे सो फ्रम थ्री स्क्वे प्लस फोर स्क्वे ईक्वेश नंबर सो ईक्वेश नंबर थ्री ईक्वल मैनस एल ई नाट उमेगा स्क्वे प्लस उमेगा स्क्वे प्लस ई नाट बै सी ईक्वल एक्सल नाट उमेगा सैन फै दिस दिवेश नंबर थ्री ईक्वेश नंबर फोर आर ई नाट उमेगा ईक्वल एक्सल नाट उमेगा का फै सो ईक्वेशन थ्री स्क्वे प्लस फोर स्क्वे सो दट मीन एक्सल नाट स्क्वे सो आर हेच एफ्सल नाट स्क्वे उमेगा स्क्वे सैन स्क्वे प्लस का स्क्वे फै दट ईक्वल दट ईक्वल सो दी टू टर्म काम टर्म इन ई नाट उमेगा ई नाट उमेगा दट मीन वन बै सी उमेगा मैनस एल उमेगा हॉल स्क्वे प्लस आर स्क्वे ई नाट स्क्वे उमेगा स्क्वे सो दिस द ई नाट इंटू उमेगा वन बै सी उमेगा 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 कैंसल ई नाट बै सी ई नाट बै सी प्लस ई नाट बै सी ई नाट उमेगा इंटू एल उमेगा सो मैनस एल ई नाट उमेगा स्क्वे मैनस एल ई नाट उमेगा स्क्वे सो नैक्स्ट इन मैथमेटिकल सैन स्क्वे फाइव प्लस का स्क्वे फै वालूज वन सो इफ्सल नाट स्क्वे उमेगा स्क्वे ईक्वल ई नाट स्क्वे उमेगा स्क्वे सो ई नाट इंटू उमेगा हॉल स्क्वे सो ई नाट स्क्वे उमेगा स्क्वे नैक्स्ट ए मैनस बी हॉल स्क्वे ए स्क्वे वन बै सी स्क्वे उमेगा स्क्वे प्लस बी स्क्वे मैनस टू ए बी मैनस टू एल बै सी सो वन बै सी उमेगा इंटू एल उमेगा 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 कैंसल मैनस एल बै सी मैनस एल बै सी प्लस प्लस आर स्क्वे ई नाट स्क्वे उमेगा स्क्वे सो एस टी सी सो काम टर्म इन उमेगा नाट स्क्वे अदल नाट स्क्वे उमेगा स्क्वे सो ई नाट स्क्वे उमेगा स्क्वे That means one by c square omega square plus l square omega square 
minus 2L by C plus R square. So both side in omega C, omega C cancel. Remaining equation epsilon naught square equal I naught square into 1 by C omega minus L omega whole square. A minus B formula. So A square plus b square minus 2ab plus r square. So this is next i naught square equal epsilon naught by epsilon naught by 1 by c omega minus l omega plus r square so next next one so next one i not equal i not equal so square means right side in root. So I naught equal epsilon naught by so square square cancel epsilon naught square cancel. So epsilon naught by root over root over one by c one by uh, c omega minus L omega whole square plus R square. This is the maximum current. So this equation is the maximum current. So remembering I naught equal epsilon naught by root over 1 by C omega minus L omega whole square plus R square. So this is the equation. So we will substitute in I equal I naught sin omega t minus pi. So this equation and this equation I naught value and phi value substituted in I equal to I naught sin omega t minus pi. So this equation is says that so i not i equal i not means epsilon naught by root over 1 by l omega uh, sorry 1 by c omega minus l omega whole square plus r square into psi into psi omega t minus 5, 5 means tan inverse, tan inverse 1 by 1 by C omega minus L omega by R. So this is the current I, so LCR series passes through a current equation epsilon by root over 1 by C omega minus L omega square plus r square sin into omega t minus tan inverse 1 by c omega minus l omega by a. r. This is the equation. So next, so next one, case 1, case 1, so next case 1, omega l, 1 by C omega that is the that is the negative that is the negative value so we will substitute the above equation omega L omega L 
so this is the increased value so that means negative value so negative value means the voltage behind the voltage behind the current behind the current next case 2 case 2 omega l less than 1 by c omega so that means positive value this is the positive value so omega l 1 by c omega are increased that means so this is the positive value the voltage the voltage leads leads the current the voltage leads the current so next one case 3 next case 3 next one case 3 case 3 means case 3 means omega l equal 1 by c omega so omega l equal to 1 by c omega so that means 0 so 1 by c omega means omega l omega l omega l minus omega l that also 0 so then i not equal epsilon naught by r epsilon naught by r so this is epsilon naught epsilon naught so this value also zero so one by c omega means omega l omega l minus omega l zero zero square means zero plus r square into root r square so that means r so by r next resonance frequency resonance frequency so resonance frequency the frequency with the frequency the frequency with satisfies satisfies the resonance condition the resonance condition is called is called resonance frequency resonance frequency so that means case number 3 resonance condition means case number 3 case number 3 means omega l equal 1 by c omega so omega is left side in multiplication so omega into omega omega square so l is right side in division 1 by c l so omega means 1 by root l c c l so this is the resonance frequency so this is the resonance frequency this is the natural frequency this is the natural frequency
This is the natural frequency. So, rough diagram. This side omega frequency, angular frequency, peak current. So this is the diagram, first one, high, high value, this is the moderate, moderate curve, moderate curve, this is the low curve, or low, or moderate, or high, so this is the resonance. So this is the resistance. So this is the natural frequency. This is this is the natural natural frequency. So thank you friends.